Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today we'll be looking at Talentex, which is Alan's Talent Encouragement Exam. And we'll be looking at sample questions from all the subjects that are asked from Talentex for grade 8. So, let's begin. This is the first question on physics. Which of the following system is relatively smallest in size? Option 1 constellation, option 2 galaxy, option 3 solar system, and option 4 universe. So, let's look at the definition of each of these options and then we'll find which is the smallest. So, a constellation is a group of stars forming a pattern in the night sky. We uh, humans relate them to everyday objects and th uh, those uh, group of stars which uh, uh, for, form a pattern is called a constellation. And next we have a galaxy. Galaxy is a system of stars and interstellar matter like interstellar dust etc so a uh, galaxy is uh, it can be uh, con it consists of billions of stars and other uh, outer space matter S so that's what a ga uh, is a galaxy next we look at a solar system uh, it's a system where planets, comets, and other celestial bodies are gravitationally bound. So, which means that these planets, comets, and uh, dwarf planets, asteroids, these are all uh, revolving around an orbit, around a star. And so, and the last is universe, which is basically all of space and time. So, if we look at his options, we can definitely say that 4 is not the correct option because the uh, question is asking uh, which is relatively smallest in size but universe is basically all of space so that means the biggest and it keeps on expanding then if uh, we check uh, option 1 and option 2 and option 1 uh, uh, option 2 says a system of stars and a uh, constellation also have a uh, some uh, number of stars so and in the option number 3 we can see that this is a system where planets comets and other celestial bodies are gravitationally bound to one two or three stars uh that's that uh, that is the number of stars that uh, scientists have discovered revolving around the solar system and in our own solar system there's only one star which is the Sun so this consists of one star constellation consists of about uh, a small number of stars while the galaxy consists of billions and billions of stars so this means we can cancel option 2 and option 1 constellations are basically uh, uh, stars which are inside a galaxy uh, which, are, uh, which can be found inside a galaxy because there's only an ample number of stars from all the stars found in a galaxy so and also solar system is much smaller than a constellation because uh, the the stars that are found in a solar system are close to each other while the stars found in a constellation are very far from each other even though they are seen as close from earth so 
Option number three, solar system is the correct answer for this question. Uh, the solar system is relatively smallest in size as compared to the other options. Next question. Biology. X is an extinct species, whereas Y is critically endangered species. Identify X and Y from the following. So we have uh, a different uh, animals. Uh, given for each X and Y in each of these options and we have to find which of these is correct now Let's look at the most obvious animal dodo the dodo is an extinct species uh, yeah, which which were found in an island and <coughs> These birds were uh, we Cannot could not defend themselves against humans. So that's why they got extinct so, if we look at option number two, this says dodo is Y, can be Y, but Y is critically endangered species, which means that even though they are a uh, very little number, they still exist, while dodos does not exist. So, option number two is incorrect. And if we took uh, a look at option number three, it says that elephant is an extinct species which is definitely not true so option 3 is incorrect now we have to uh, differentiate between option number 1 and option number 4 now option number 4 says dodo is extinct species which is correct while pink pigeon is a critically endangered species now this is incorrect because the pink pigeon is extinct uh, the species is extinct and not critically endangered so that means option number one is the correct answer x is dodo which is extinct species y is balearyxia water which is a critically endangered species next question all of the following are the uses of call except so from these options we have to find which of these are not a use of coal so let's look at the first option it says it is used as a fuel to heat boilers now this is true because coal releases lots of heat without odor or smoke so this is perfect for uh, as a fuel for heat boilers so option one is true so that means it is incorrect because we had to find which of these are not a use of coal while option one is a use of coal now option two says it is the largest source of energy for the generation of electricity now this is also true now how this works is that uh, coal is burned and this uh, ma which makes steam uh, which turns a turbine to produce electricity so high, a very high number of steam is produced when coal is burned. So this means this uh, this there's enough force to turn a turbine, which in turn produces electricity. Now, since option number two is true, the option is wrong. Now, option three it says it is an important fuel used to cook food in rural areas this is true because uh, they are <coughs> they can release a lot of heat and it is perfect for cooking food now in rural areas the important fuels used are coal and cow dung cakes because they are found in rural areas so option number three is true so that's why this is incorrect the correct option is option number four it is commonly used to repel insects and moths in here 
we use coal tar, which is not coal, but it's a byproduct of uh, coal and coke. So uh, this means that it is not coal, but it's just a byproduct. So that means it is not one of the uses of coal. So option number four is false. So that's why option number four is the correct answer for this question. Next question on mathematics. Man earning 20,000 rupees per month spends 15,000 rupees and saves the rest. His salary increases by 25%, but his expenditure remains the same. Now, the percentage increase in saving is 20%, 25%, 50%, and 100%. Now, for this question, let's take out uh, the important points. So, this says, first, the man's earning was 20,000 per month, month. His salary was 20,000 per month. And his expenditure was... 15,000 because he spends it and he saves the rest so and also his salary increased by by 25 percent but the his, his expenditure remains the same so if we are if we, if we are to write it down a uh, monthly earning is 20,000 rupees and expenditure is 15,000 rupees. Now both of these are given in the question. Now if we have uh, it says that uh, the man saves the rest. So his saving is 20,000 minus 15,000, which is equal to 5,000 rupees. So, his uh, initial saving was 5,000 rupees. Now, next, salary increases by... Uh, 25% now this means uh, 20,000 turns into so which is which means 20,000 plus 25 by 100 into 20,000 with 25 by 100 sorry so this is 25 by 100 into 20,000. So, we'll cancel the zeros and we get uh, 20,000 plus uh, 20, 25 into 200, which is 5,000 if we calculate it, which gives 25,000 as his uh, new salary. So twenty five he gets twenty five thousand rupees. Now all the expenditure equals new expenditure. So uh, which is given in the question since is it's is says specifically that his salary increases by twenty five thousand, but his expenditure remains the same. So, what we have to find is the saving. Now, if we had to find the saving, we have to we had to find the a percentage increase. So, the new saving, if we are to calculate it, new saving would be twenty five thousand. Minus now his expenditure is the same, which is fifteen thousand, which gives ten thousand rupees as his monthly savings. Now we had to find the percentage increase. Now percentage increase is equal to 
we have to divide the increase in saving divided by the original saving which is 10,000 minus 5,000 divided by 5,000. This is the difference, the numerator is the difference and the denominator is the initial saving. This will get as 5,000 divided by 5,000 which is basically 100 percentage. So option number four, 100 percentage is the correct answer for this question. So the percentage increase uh, after his salary increases by 25,000 is 100 percent. Mm. So that means he get twice the amount of saving as he had at the first. Now, next question on social studies. Match the following columns. So, in this question, uh, let's look at each of the columns. Uh, in option uh, in column one, it says humus. Now, humus is dead matter found in soil, and the nearest explanation which uh, matches this is option number two organic matter depo deposit on that on top soil so option a matches to two now with this we can cancel two options that is option three and option four because this says that a is matched to one and a is matched to four res respectively but that is incorrect if we check the explanations it doesn't prevent soil erosion and it does is not uh, found in the atmosphere or uh, it's not a connecting a connection between lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere so option 3 and option 4 is incorrect now if we uh, look at the next uh, uh, if you look at the uh, last option I mean the last option in column 1 which is ecosystem now an ecosystem is basically uh, uh, organisms living together. Now the closest explanation for this is option number three, which is life supporting system, which is basically the same as organ uh, many oh, many many organisms living together in harmony. So uh, D matches with three. So, we can cancel option number 2 because it says D matches with 1, which is incorrect. So, with this, with solving just two options, we get the correct answer, option 1. But we have to check the other options. Uh, option B, uh, B says rock dams, which are dams uh, built to prevent soil erosion. So, option B matches with one and C biosphere is the connection between lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere which is option number four right so option number one a 2 B 1 C 4 and D 3 is the correct answer for this question that's all folks we hope you found it interesting for more useful videos, please subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios. Until the next episode, take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.